What's up, Laker fam? Welcome to Lakers Report by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm your host, Hannah Kulik, aka Laker Hand. Hope you guys are having a great holiday week, holiday weekend with your family and your loved ones. Hope you guys are all staying safe, sane, healthy, and as happy as can be during this time. Now, we've got an awesome show for you guys today because it is time to answer some of your questions. We're going to be doing a mailbag Q&A here. So you guys sent me in all of your questions via my Twitter and my Instagram. So real quick, before we get into those questions, make sure that you are following me on my Instagram at HannahRoseKulik and my Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik. So that way next week when I tweet out and, and ask on my Instagram that I'm looking for some more questions, you guys are able to participate in the next Q&A. And also real quick, if you have not yet done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Come and join this Lakers Report family. We've got some awesome Lakers coverage for you all year long and definitely make sure to give it a subscribe make sure that you are followed on here so that way you can keep up with all things purple and gold while the season is suspended there is still so much to talk about but like I said, you guys sent in some awesome questions, so let's just get right into it and see what you guys want to know about our purple and gold. So the first question we have here today is from at in God I trust one. Love that username. Um, so how do you think if we go right into the playoffs, a good first round opponent? So I think what you're asking is if we just went straight into the playoffs today, like if the season picked back up and started what our playoff, you know, position would be. So we would be in that first place. We are number one in the Western Conference. And if the playoffs did start, you know, right now or right when the season did end, we would have been playing the Memphis Grizzlies. So personally, it would have been a pretty easy matchup in my opinion. I think the Lakers would have probably most likely been able to sweep Memphis Grizzlies. But of course, as we all know, that didn't exactly happen because the season was randomly suspended, unfortunately unfortunately, due to the big C, everything going on in the world right now. So if we did play in the playoffs right now, most likely it would be against the Memphis Grizzlies. It would have been a really easy series. But we're just going to kind of have to wait and see. Maybe that is who we are going to play in the first round when basketball, if basketball does return, hopefully. Next question we have is from William Bruce. Will they re-sign Boogie? Um, and then another question that's pretty similar, so I'm just going to include it in here as well. At D-O-U-I-3-L-E-J-O-5, Dwight Howard or Boogie, who should come back next season, or should we just bring both back and let JaVale walk? So in terms of Williams' question for the first part, are they going to re-sign Boogie? I think they're definitely going to give him a good shot. Um, this summer, it's been said that he's going to continue to work out for the team and continue to kind of rehab and practice and train under the Lakers' facility and with their coaches and stuff. So I think if he's able to come back and the coaches and the training staff feel that he's done a good job and he'll be able to, you know, really kind of make a good, full, healthy return, then I definitely think they are going to give him another look to, in terms of re-signing him this season during free agency. But in terms of Dwight Howard or DeMarcus Cousins, for me personally, I would have to go with Dwight Howard just because, you know, he played extremely well for the Lakers this season. I really did think he was a really big catalyst for us, especially coming off the bench, providing a ton of energy. He was a great teammate. He really did everything that we asked him to. And Dwight, obviously, when he's healthy, like how he proved this season, and I think he would have even had a bigger role as the season continued and especially kind of getting in towards the playoffs I think Dwight's role would have continued to increase but Dwight really is a guy who can dominate a basketball game and we saw that a few times this season so personally for me if it's up between Dwight Howard or Boogie I would pick Dwight Howard but of course DeMarcus if he's healthy he's a great player too and really has the potential to be a big really big contributor to this team but personally I'm going to go with Howard but I am curious out of Dwight Howard and DeMarcus Cousins who would you guys rather have the Lakers sign would you rather have them sign Dwight or would you rather have them sign Boogie? If you'd rather have them sign Dwight Howard then type H down below or Boogie type B down below. Another quick thing that I did want to mention in regards to Dwight Howard and DeMarcus Cousins though is the fact that Dwight may actually not be available this summer because he did play so well for the Lakers. Other teams may potentially offer him more money than the Lakers are really willing and able to so we're just going to kind of have to wait and see how that plays out but still personally for me I'm going to go with Dwight Howard but of course let me know who you would rather have down in the comments below. Before I answer more of your questions, though, I do want to remind you guys that we are having an awesome deal right now on all of our Lakers gears with one of our sponsors, Fanatic. 
fanatic. So if you want to be rocking all things purple and gold and be ready to go when the season does return or just be all prepared and be able to kind of stay home, stay cozy with our Lakers gear, then definitely make sure you check it out. Starting up to 50% off, we've got hoodies, t-shirts, hats, you name it, we have it. So definitely make sure to go and check that out. But let's move on. Let's see what other questions you guys have. So this next one is from... Uh, Kairos on YouTube and he wants to know do you think we should trade for Zach Levine this offseason and what would you give up? That's actually an interesting question because Zach Levine would be a really nice fit with this team. You know he's young, he's only 24 years old, he can provide us with a ton of scoring, he's playing extremely well, really kind of hitting his stride, averaging about 25 points for the Chicago Bulls. So he would be a great fit for this team. Now if this is really realistic, I don't know though. I don't know why the Chicago Bulls would want to give up Zach Levine. I don't really see that kind of having any incentive to do so and if they were I think they really would want a high draft pick which as we all know unfortunately the Lakers do not have but if for some reason we are kind of able to put together a little bit of a trade package for Zach it would have to include Danny Green because he's making that 15 million Zach Levine makes about 20 million dollars a year so we're gonna have to match that salary so it'd have to include Danny Green it would maybe even have to include KCP not sure if he's gonna do it or just a couple of other players so this is probably not the most likely situation to happen but of course Zach Levine on the Lakers would be a great fit so maybe it could happen and it would be great but I wouldn't hold your breath I don't think it's the most likely scenario unfortunately Orlando Moore wants to know can the Lakers land CP3 CP3 AD and LeBron James equals ring yeah that would probably be an awesome team um in terms of if they can land him I don't think so um CP3 is making a huge contract right now so Lakers don't have the money right now to add him to this team and I don't think OKC is going to want to trade for him um or trade him in general because because he's pretty much their entire team right now. And OKC's actually played pretty well this season. So I don't think they're going to really want to trade him to the Lakers. And I don't think the Lakers are going to be able to have the money to afford him, unfortunately. Because, yeah, that would be a really exciting team. But definitely don't think this is a likely situation at all. At 2K. Richard, who do you think is better, LeBron or Kawhi? You guys know I have to stick with my Lakers. I got to go with LeBron James. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard is an amazing basketball player. But personally for me, LeBron, what he's done throughout his career, He's going to go down as probably one of, if not the best basketball player to ever play the game. And especially this season, when you look at what LeBron James has been able to do at 35 years old for as long as he's been playing, truly unbelievable, leading the entire league in assists, really leading the Lakers this season to what looks like a championship. So LeBron, I've got to go with him over Kawhi Leonard. But let me know who you guys think is better, LeBron James or Kawhi Leonard. If you think that it is our LeBron James, our King James, type L down below, or if you think Kawhi is better, then type K down below. Definitely two very talented players, but you gotta go with LeBron over Kawhi for this one, at least in my opinion. Alfredo L wants to know, is AD coming back? So yes, I would be pretty darn surprised if he does not re-sign with the Lakers. I think he's wanted to be Laker his entire career. He's finally got that opportunity. We had such a great season this past year. Unfortunately, things, you know, haven't really played out the way we wanted to in terms of the season being suspended, but still, you know, AD really doesn't have any reason to complain. He had a great season. The Lakers were number one in the Western Conference. He's, you know, a superstar here. So I don't really see why he would want to leave the Lakers. I would be pretty shocked if it happened. Now, in terms of what his contract may look like when he does resign, you could see him do that kind of similar contract to what Kawhi Leonard and Paul George have done that two year with the third year player option. Or he could just, hopefully, what us Laker fans really want him to do, just sign a long term contract for that five, six years have him for a majority of his career, if not for the rest of his career, and just make him, you know, the face of the franchise and retire his jersey in purple and gold much later on. But of course, I do think that AD is going to be a Laker. I'm not too worried about him, you know, going out and re-signing with another team. I'm pretty sure AD is here to stay. This next question is from Ryan Spencer. If the season picks back up, do you think the Lakers will win over or under 65 games? I'm um, just going to kind of depend on if the season does pick back up, how many more games they add to the schedule. I would assume it would have to be anywhere from five to seven games, but not 100% sure. Now, if the season were just continued and carried on, absolutely. The Lakers were playing out of their minds. They were coming off an extremely exciting, you know, back-to-back -back victory between the Clippers and the Milwaukee Bucks. So they were definitely well on their way to doing so. Had the number one record in the Western Conference and were about to be just the number one record in the entire league. So 
that's why it's so frustrating, especially for us Laker fans after so long. Lakers finally clinched a playoff spot and we're looking like really the team to beat the championship team this season for the season to just have been drastically, dramatically just kind of stopped. Um, but hopefully we can pick it back up and the Lakers can get back to their championship ways. But definitely if this season would have carried out like normal, 100% would have gone over 65 games in my opinion. And then let's finish off with a couple of just fun questions. We've got a few nice ones here, a little bit of a different um, vibe than we usually do. So this one is from at Big Baby Jonathan. He wants to know, what is your favorite moment this season? So for me personally, I just actually kind of mentioned it a little bit, but it was those last two stretches of games against the Milwaukee Bucks and the Clippers where we beat both of them because those are obviously two of the Lakers' biggest rivals this season when you look at the two teams that could have been their biggest competition and we beat both of them back to back and we were just playing so extremely well. So those two games were definitely the highlights of me. That little weekend that we had right before the season was suspended was definitely my favorite part of the season and the final question here today is another fun one it is from at brazil is joker your personal most rewatched lakers game ever so for me there's a lot of games i honestly go back and watch on youtube rewatch the highlights but for me personally it is that game seven in the 2010 uh, championship the lakers played the boston celtics for some reason especially that like last that fourth quarter when meta hits that three it's just it's so exciting for me personally so i go back and i rewatch that game at least once a week or at least the highlights because it really gets me fired up and very motivated especially on some games or uh, some days where I'm not very motivated and stuff it really gets me extremely excited and motivated for my day so that's got to be it but of course there are a ton of really exciting Laker games throughout the years that I'm sure the highlights are awesome too Kobe's game is another one for me that I do rewatch a lot but I think that game seven of the 2010 NBA finals is still takes the cake for me personally but let me know what game you go back and you rewatch most because like I said, there are a lot of really exciting Laker games throughout the year. So I'm sure you guys have some other really great ones and some more suggestions that I can kind of look forward to and watch as well, especially while we are all quarantined. We've got some extra free times on our hands. Now that is going to be it for today's Lakers mailbag Q&A. Thank you guys so much for sending in such awesome questions. As always, please don't forget to subscribe here on Lakers Report if you have not yet done so. Also, don't forget to check out our exciting sale with Fanatics. If you want 50% up all of our Lakers gear definitely make sure to check it out the link will be in our description box below don't forget to give this video a double thumbs up if you liked it and until next time Laker hand is out bye guys